Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my mixed media art journal. I'll be using this beautiful Making Faces line from Jane Davenport and Spellbinders. Love this line. I've shared an unboxing of a few of the products from this line. I also have been using it in my art journal and I have a few videos using these products. So I will link it up at the eye for you guys if you want to check it out. But for today, I'm sticking to the same making faces line and I'm going to create a little spread for you guys. Now I started by using the washi tape sheets. They are gorgeous. I love them. It's a really easy way to add color to your spread before you start and it adds a lot of texture which is my favorite. I don't get rid of anything. Once I trim off the sides I will use all the washi to add more texture and I'm gonna just build from there. I do change my mind um, pretty quickly. Now, when I added the washi, I loved it, but I felt like it was too bright because I thought I was gonna be adding some paint. And I thought maybe I should add gesso over the washi. It was kind of a mistake. Um, I usually add gesso to paint all the time, but I guess because the washi is so sleek, uh, the gesso didn't look as great. And that's okay. I am all for changing your mind uh, while creating, especially in mixed media. Um, it's okay to cover things up. It's okay to change your mind. It's not a big deal. And that's why I love mixed media. You don't always end up with what you started with and that's okay. Now, so to fix my problem, I decide to grab my black paint and just cover it up. Yes, I end up covering up a lot of the washi tape with my black paint and that's fine. You guys know I love my black paint and I always like tend to gravitate to my black paint. It's always on my desk when I'm creating in my mixed media because I usually use it a lot. At first I thought I would keep a few of these mermaids to kind of pop off my spread but that center mermaid kind of gave me the creeps. <laughs> I don't know, she just didn't look right. Uh, against the black paint so I decide to actually cover her up. I end up just keeping this larger mermaid on the side and that little title that says expect wonderful things to happen and I'm going to build from there. So I end up kind of covering all of my washi tape. It's not a waste to me because it added a lot of texture and it helped me kind of start my spread from somewhere. I grabbed my color sticks. I have both options of these color sticks because I love them both. I love these color sticks. They are smoother than gelatos. They, they're kind of like gelatos, but much smoother. And you don't need to wet your finger to kind of blend them in. Because they're so smooth, uh, It was just it's just so easy to use or kind of blend into your project. Um, I'm using them to add more color to my mermaid. It, I just felt like she kind of needed a little bit of shading and kind of made her look like I drew her in, if that makes sense, but I really didn't. So I'm just building on what I have, and these color sticks are really going to help me do that. I just use them to add more pop of color to her and to give her a little bit of shading and all that good stuff. And I'm really happy I used the color sticks because... It was so easy to do. Really, you don't have to be a pro at this. I'm also using the color sticks to add 
more color to my little subtitle and I'm kind of blending them a little bit into the black paint just to make it look like it's one and not like I just, you know, kind of covered up the washi tape, if that makes sense. I'm also using these beautiful pencils. Love them. They're very, very smooth. I'm going to use the white to add to her eyes and a little bit to her hair. I'm also going to grab one of these blending tools from Jane Davenport and Spellbinders. This uh, little blending tool is perfect to blend in the pencils, even the color sticks. It's very like easy to use and you have a lot of control over them. It's crazy. I just love these little things, but I'm just going to use that to blend in some of the white. I'm also going to end up grabbing some black to add a little bit more depth to my mermaid. Now at this point, I know I need to create a background. The black was just not cutting it. So I decided to use this little tin of faces. They're just little wooden stamps and I'm gonna use my white ink pad to stamp them randomly in the background. I used some just a scrap of white cardstock to help me kind of build them and make them look like they're sitting behind each other, in front of each other behind my mermaid all that good stuff um, i do cut it out a little bit where it has a little shape just in case i'm you know adding it to her neck her face or whatever but that's all i'm doing i'm just using these faces to create my own background and it's gonna look really cool i'm so happy i decided to do this i don't think i've ever done something like this but these little faces are just perfect for that uh, to create your own little background of female faces on your background how i mean you can't beat that you guys but anyways um, before i go too far ahead and i'm not going to make you watch me stamp every single face i do want to add a title um the title that came in mind with all the faces like that image of all the faces and this mermaid kind of popping off my spread was you are not alone so i decide to grab some of my alpha stickers and add you are not alone before I go on because I don't want the faces behind my title if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my spread and then keep going with stamping my faces in the background. As you can see, there's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just going for it. And the imperfections make the spread kind of its own. And I love that. And I love that about mixed media. Nothing has to be perfect. But anyways, I'm going to grab a few more things just to make my mermaid kind of pop a little bit more. I end up using my Jane Davenport black pen, adding a few lines to her hair and her clothing. I'm also going to grab that pastel palette, I believe that's what it's called, and um, use that to add some color to her cheeks and lips with my little blending tool. That blending tool is perfect for this product. It makes everything blend so smoothly and nicely. Uh, I believe I do also use my Sharpie pen or my Sharpie paint pen. Love that thing. Uh, Right now, it's like my favorite white pen for all kinds of mixed media. So I'm just going to use that to add some white to her hair. But at this point, I'm thinking I need texture, more texture to my spread. So I'm going to end up grabbing my little drawer of flowers and adding some of my fussy cut out flowers to her hair. Well, I think I add some enamel dots as well. That's going to add some texture because she's just so flat. It's a piece of washi tape so it's really flat my whole layout looked kind of flat so just adding a few flowers made a huge difference but anyways that's it you guys I am done 
Uh, don't forget, I add all the links for everything I use down in the description box for you guys. I believe a lot of different companies are carrying this line and Spellbinders has the whole line. So I'll add a few links for you guys in the description box. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.